Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this MIDI into this MIDI very, very quickly using Scalar 2. Let's jump into it. So first of all, this is the MIDI I started with. This is just something I played on my keyboard. And the idea here is that's a great melody or arpeggio, but I'm looking for some nice complex chords to sit in a progression behind it. And I'm not really good at making chords, so I'm just gonna let Scalar do it for me. The first thing I'm gonna do is create a new MIDI clip, and then I'm just gonna hold Alt, drag that down. And the, you have to decide what your progression is. And I've kind of already played in some bass notes here for this arpeggio. So I'm just gonna delete these top ones and I've got a pretty standard progression. What I can do is drop Scalar on the track. Once Scalar's on the track, I'm gonna detect and I'm gonna play through those and just let Scalar detect those notes. Now, what we have is Scalar detecting those single notes and saying, hey, this is probably in the C minor scale. Uh, there are some other options here, but because we started on a C, it's saying it's probably C minor scale. That all tracks, it was written in C minor, so we're perfectly fine. The next thing I'm gonna do is unselect the detect because I wanna start working in the C minor. Now I need to decide what type of chords I want. So it's gonna go C, A flat, G, so. That sounds okay, but those are triads, which can be pretty boring. If I come in here and go up to something like 11th, those are much richer. So what I wanna do now is essentially paint by numbers. I wanna go C, and then it goes to A flat, so I wanna take that A flat, and then to G, and then to F, and then C, A flat, G, and then it falls down to E flat. And now I've got my chord progression. And if I hit the play button, I've got a really nice chord set there. A couple of things I can do to make it a little bit better is turn on the dynamic voice grouping. Just gonna spread those keys out a little bit more on the keyboard and give me that nice bass tone. And I'm also gonna hit humanize both. And it's just gonna add subtle fluctuations to both the velocity and the timing of each one of those notes, just so we can keep it a little more human and a little less robotic. And also when I hit play, it's going too fast for the sequence I have here. So what I'm gonna do is just highlight everything, hit the edit button, come into playback timings instead of with times one, I'm gonna to go to times two, which will just slow it down. And if I right click the play button, it will say DAW sync on. So now when I hit the space bar to adjust the transpose of my DAW, it will do the same on scalar. And this is what we got now. So even with just the stock felt piano, I think that sounds absolutely fantastic. But let's say I wanna use a different patch from a third party VST. Now that I have all of these selected, if I click, drag and drop into that channel, you'll see what the chords actually are. You'll see how massive they are. Where we started to where we end up is pretty intense. And also if we zoom in, we can see the time fluctuations. And if you double click, you can see the tempo or velocity rather fluctuations as well in the MIDI clip. And if we play that patch now with our initial. We've got a really great chord progression that 
Scalar 2 made for us right out of the gate. Now, obviously, there's a bunch more that we can do to that to further affect it, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to take a simple four-bar, one-note-per-bar MIDI clip and turn it into something as complex and rich as what we've just done here in this video. Anyway, Scalar 2 is already available, of course, on PluginBoutique.com. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.